two foot spins and we're going to start with three quick tips. So tip one, you need to know in which direction you prefer to turn. So you can do this without skates and literally just turn around in a circle and feel which way feels most natural. Most people prefer to spin counterclockwise. It's just one of the kind of left-handed, right-handed things. I like to be different and I prefer to spin clockwise. <laughs> but it's entirely up to you. For tip two, you need to know which is your dominant foot. Now you probably know this if you've been skating a little while. If you find your left foot is your most dominant foot, so you're better balancing on your left, chances are you'll probably like to spin counterclockwise. And if you prefer your right foot, the chances are you will like to spin clockwise. It's just kind of how it works. If you're different, it's fine. Tip three is wheels. The harder your wheels are, the easier it will be to spin. So on this floor, my wheels can do this. See how slippy they are? <laughs> That's gonna make it really easy to spin. As with most things in skating, the upper body is gonna help you. So if you're gonna spin clockwise, then you're gonna use this shoulder to take you round. So if you start square and you pull, so you pull this shoulder back. And if you're gonna go counterclockwise, you do the same thing, but with the left shoulder. So as you pull in, you take this shoulder back and that will give you momentum. So this shoulder leads you into the spin, or this way. So now we're actually going to spin. So if you can do a heel toe manual, this is gonna really help because one foot's gonna be more on the toe, one foot's gonna be more on the heel. So you can kind of choose again, which feels most comfortable to you. For me, I have my right foot more toe and my left foot more heel. This is because wheels, they want to go forwards. They don't want to go sideways. So by lifting some of the weight off, it means they can rotate easier. I'm going to spin clockwise. So I need to think of my right foot is going to be skating backwards, but my left foot is going to be skating forwards like this. So you can kind of pump the spin round. So if you imagine pulling the shoulder and pulling back, your body will naturally so when it starts, you need to think about pulling this one backwards and pushing this one forwards. So it's creating tension. But I always say bend your knees, don't. <laughs> it's like a hill tone manual, you need to lift. Thinking about this one going backwards and this one going forwards and my shoulder pulling me, we're gonna pump the spin. So what I mean by that is that one and then we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna pull that shoulder back so if you think about your bubbles when you're pulling, you're doing the same thing here and you're pulling your feet round. And you can keep doing this and this will turn in to a spin. So by pulling in faster, pull your arms in and pulling the shoulder back, you'll go faster and faster. So think about toe and heel. You've also got to think about lifting yourself. So what you want to do is turn this momentum into spin. You don't want to be traveling across the floor when you're spinning, because that means your momentum is going into the travel and not into the rotation. So to do that, you don't bend your knees. If you bend your knees, you start to travel. <laughs> because the momentum is going down, not up. Right, so I'm just gonna show you the exact same thing, but counterclockwise. So it's the left shoulder and you're gonna pump exactly the same. You're gonna pull this back. That's it. So you should feel that it takes you. So if you want to spin faster, the idea is you do this because that will make you corkscrew. So you'll get faster and faster. So when you're going counterclockwise, the left foot is the one going backwards and the right foot is the one going forwards. And you can heel toe whichever way you feel the most comfortable. So when you first try this skill, you'll probably find that your feet are quite sort of hip distance apart because you're doing this pumping action. And that's totally normal. As you start to feel that spin, your feet will come closer together. And to spin really fast, what needs to happen is one foot will almost remain in the same place and the other one will spin around it and your feet will come in. So I'm here, 
But to be able to spin fast, I need to be here. So my feet are much closer. But you'll see to get the speed, I actually start off with them wide and pull them in. And that inaction is what tightens everything up and makes me go faster. So if you watch that, is that this two foot spin can lead in to you doing a one foot spin. So when you get faster, feel that you're getting more weight onto one foot. So then you'll be able to lift the other one. Spinning is really hard to do on roller skates. So be patient with yourself. It is not an easy skill to master. I'm Katie, you're watching Skatey and I'll see you next time. Bye. No, I'm not ready. Slipped. So as with most, <laughs> as with most things in skating, it's yes. The upper art body. No, oh, why can't I speak tonight? It's <sighs> so if you can do a heel toe menu, this. Uh... It's gone. What's it gonna do? Yeah. <laughs>